Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, I am talking about setting up a four-node cluster using cloudular distribution on virtual machines for the practice purpose. Um, in this video, as part of that playlist, I will try to cover how to install JDK, which is required to install Cloudera Manager later. So, to, to get the instructions, go to Google and search for Cloudera install JDK. Okay, you can uh, click on any of these links. So here we are talking about the CDH5, click on uh, supported JDK versions. So either you need to have 1.7.0 underscore 55 or later and 1.8.0 underscore 60 or later and these are the recommended version and we will try to set up for 1.8.0 underscore 60. Okay, so the way you have to set up. this is not the link yeah after checking the uh, um, the supported versions go back and uh, here there are instructions first you need to download uh, Oracle JDK going through this link click on this and here we are trying to download Java SE 877 8277 It's, it should be 8.0 underscore 60 that is the recommended version but most likely for practice purposes you can actually download the later versions also even though it is not uh, recommended but for the production purposes you have to strictly follow uh, whatever recommendations they have provided so in this case I will just download JDK 8277 Linux x64.tar.gz uh, or you can actually download this one also but the instructions here are for downloading the zip file tar.gz so we will follow the instructions and we will download uh, this one because we are using Linux 64 bit version so you can accept this one I have already accepted that's why it is not showing up here and then you can click on this and uh, then it will be downloaded if you if you are not logged into Oracle website it will prompt you to log in if you don't have account you have to sign up for that once you sign up and once you download you will see the file like this okay so I have already downloaded this uh, and this file is under downloads so on my Mac I have I am going to downloads from the command prompt if you are using windows you have to go to uh, downloads um, through command prompt and then you can actually run scp command using sigwin or you have to use winscp or some other secure copy tools uh, but uh, I will highly recommend you to use sigwin and uh, copy using sigwin and if you are using windows the drive starts like this sig drive slash if you are if you saved into downloads it will be typically under c drive and from here you can actually give the path it will look like this c slash users slash your username slash downloads that will be the typical path otherwise you have to give whatever path is using the sig drive as the uh, root level drive and then wherever your, your downloads is you have to start with that drive whether it is c d or e whatever it is so make sure you get the current uh, correct path start with slash sig drive and uh, add the rest of the stuff so in this case i am in the downloads directory itself and i have to scp this file so scp jdk and the node which we have to choose is node 01 because that is where we will set up cloudera manager and uh, we can actually copy to home directory so because it's copying uh, uh, from our PC to the VM which is running on our PC, it will be very fast. And then you can actually log into the uh, Node 01 
and uh, run ls minus ltr you can see the uh, tar file here what you have to do is you have to do tar xzs this is the command you need to run and uh, give the file name it will be untarred and unzipped into a directory called uh, jdk 1.8.0 underscore 77 now as per the instructions what you have to do is uh, you it is better to copy to this location user slash java slash jdk 1.7.0 underscore nn or uh, 1.8.0 underscore nn whatever version you are using in our case it is 77 so what they are saying is just copy this file or move this file into slash user slash java so let us see whether we have the directory slash java under slash usr it's not there so we have to create java directory over there once the java directory is created you can run mv minus f command to move the directory 1.80 underscore 77 to user java and hit enter now you can see the jdk copied to this location okay once it is done what you have to do is you have to export this uh, export the java home so for that you have to open a hidden file called bash underscore profile hit enter and here we have to say export java underscore home equal to user java slash Seven seven. Whatever version we have downloaded, uh, uh, whatever directory is created, we have to give that file name. Now, once the Java underscore home environment variable is uh, created, you have to run this script. That's it. And then in the following files on Cloudera Manager server and cluster hosts. set java underscore home to the directory where the jdk installed for example this is the one and then in the following ok we have to update all these following files etc default cloudera scm server and we will do the do it later we will not be doing it right now ok so that is how we we can uh, install jdk let's see if there is this file called etc default big top utils etc default ls minus ltr so there is no big top utils so we don't need to copy at this time okay so once the jdk is installed we can uh, proceed with the next steps and i will be covering as part of the next video that being said i hope you are enjoying the content uh, on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about big data please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye